guys, Plain and Simple Man here, and I've been thinking about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 since the beta, and in particular, I've been thinking about the art of camping. All right, let me explain what I'm talking about. So, during the beta, I started to camp just a little bit. I was trying out the rocket launcher, I was using the trip mines, especially in Hardpoint and Domination, where objective gameplay and camping can sometimes be a pretty good combination, in my opinion. Now, as my teammates would capture the hard point or they would capture the flags, I would basically just sit and camp in a corner and then I would watch their six. Now to me it's a great team effort to do this, but there's also a flip side to this guys because I know many of you guys don't like to camp, but I gotta admit guys, it was actually pretty fun in the beta, it was, seriously. There was a certain amount of adrenaline rushing through my camping veins when an unsuspected enemy walked in front of me and I blew him up into tiny particles. <laughs> I can only imagine how he felt as his controller shook and he saw his lifeless body floating through the air. I don't know. It's just a feeling that I haven't felt with Call of Duty in a while. And honestly, guys, I think you guys should try it. Now, before you guys get all angry at me, I want you to hear me out from my perspective on this issue because I think camping can benefit all of us. And that includes people who absolutely hate campers. I do. And the reason I say this is, is because you have to look at this as a life lesson or a learning experience. I mean, for example, let, let, let's say you run into a room, right? And you run into the room completely oblivious as to what's going on inside the room. And I happen to be sitting in the corner with a grenade launcher. And you come in and I blow you to little bits and pieces. Well, you know, you, you technically can't blame me for your failure. I mean, I did exactly what I was supposed to do in that scenario because I'm a camper. And as a camper, it's my duty, my call to action to shoot anything that comes into the door. Simple as that. Now, as a running gunner, or as somebody who doesn't like to camp, or maybe somebody that doesn't like campers at all, it's your job to take the camper down. And there's a couple of ways that you guys can do that, and I'm going to explain. And it's pretty simple to be quite honest. The first way is to throw an explosive device into the room. I mean, if you think a camper's inside of a room, and he might be hiding in there, throw one in there, and hope that you kill the camper, or maybe stun the camper. It's as simple as that. And the second way is to clear the room by going into the room and shooting the camper. All right, and you gotta do it by any means necessary. Now what you do is you focus on areas within the room that campers are known to be hiding. It's simple, I mean, it's not that hard. And you just go in, guns blazing. Honestly, and I'm gonna tell you guys the truth, I'm really not normally a camper, I'm not. But I wanted to try it, okay, because I wanted to see both sides. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I learned quite a bit about this sacred art. Now I'm basically here to teach you guys one thing, and that is you can't get mad at the camper because that's how the camper is wired, okay? He's wired to hide in corners and destroy anything that gets in his quadrant, his coordinates, or his area of operation. Just like a running gunner moves from one area to another in a brisk manner, he runs around and he guns people down quickly without regard for his own safety at times, but nonetheless, that's what a running gunner does. That's his job. Or let's think about a sniper for a moment, okay? He typically lays low and he snipes. A sniper snipes from longer ranges and sniping is a method of gameplay, just like a running gunner who runs in guns is a method of gameplay, just like camping is a method of gameplay. And whether you guys like it or not, it's not illegal to do in any one of those cases. So just because it makes you upset to be killed by a camper, ask yourselves this. How many times has somebody quickscoped you? How many times did a run and gunner jump into the air and shoot you? Now I think those methods are equally frustrating, but why why do campers get more grief in the Call of Duty community than other methods? I mean, there's no difference when it comes to the results, right? I mean, you may think to yourself, but plain and simple, man, camping requires absolutely no skill. Well, that's your opinion, but the results are exactly the same. What happened? You died and your opponent didn't, regardless if you were killed by a sniper, a running gunner, or a camper. The results are the same. And to me, it's you 
who should adjust your approach and have to change your ways so that you can defeat whoever it is that's killing you. It's as simple as that, okay? Now, if you faced a team of snipers, you simply adjust your method of attack. And when you face a bunch of running gunners, you adjust your method of attack. And the same goes with campers. That's why we have a create a class system. Have a class specifically designed to combat specific types of opponents. And you can change your classes within your game to match those opponents' tactics. It's not rocket science, guys. Okay? Sports teams do this all the time. They adjust their style of play depending on their opponent. I mean, they don't cry. They don't complain because they don't like defensive-oriented teams. They adjust. And I'm here to tell you, getting back to my original point, that I'm looking forward to camping in Black Ops 3. But, <laughs> let me make myself clear, on a case-by-case -case basis. Let me make that clear, on a case-by-case -case basis. Because although I don't traditionally like to camp, there's always a group of people in a game or a lobby from time to time dropping F-bombs, cussing at everybody in the lobby, talking all kinds of smack over a video game. I mean, I mean, and, and so what? Who comes to the rescue? A camper does to blow them to little bits and pieces. And guess what? There's nothing more satisfying than taking a rocket launcher out and blowing somebody up several times after they called everybody on your team every name in the book. It's payback, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Does camping need to be done all the time? Not for me, guys, but occasionally when somebody needs to be dealt with, I'm pretty satisfied. I'll have a class all set up in Black Ops 3 to deal with those individuals, and to me, that's satisfying, and to me, that's rewarding, and that's why I think, hey, I might actually like camping once in a while. So, tell me what you guys think in the comments section down below. Do you guys like camping? Do you not like camping? Do you agree that camping, running, gunning, and sniping is pretty much the same thing as far as annoying goes? <laughs> I hope so, because as I said earlier, the results are the same. And as always, guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment. My name is Plain and Simple Man, and I will see you guys next time.